Love will find you when you're not looking for it. Love will find you when you're not looking for it. find you when you're not looking for it. Love will find you when you're not looking for it. Hello y'all, I'm Diana Breanne. I don't give advice, suggestions, information, recommendations. I just share with you my perspective on different topics as is with this one. I hope you like, share, subscribe. Channel names are pinned to the top of the comment section below or description box below. And remember, I have five channels, okay? So, love will find you when you're not looking for it, when you're not hungry, when you're not out there searching. At least that's what Grandma told me, and that's been the way it has been for me. Love has found me, and love found me 30 years ago. Um, love found me when I wasn't looking for it, when I was busy living my very, very best life, when I was busy creating my best life, when I was busy doing the things that I loved and enjoyed. That was when love found me. It found me at a perfect time um, when I was ready for it. You know, there are sometimes stages and things and people that we need to go through first before what we call that true love finds us. And I believe that we don't have to run out there and search frantically for it and be out there every night searching, 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 because often we exhaust ourselves. And then when we, when we meet up with the real deal, we're too exhausted to even see it. And so for me, I was never out there searching or as the saying goes, looking for love, looking for love in all the wrong places. <laughs> Or looking for love in all the right places, I don't know. But, you know, whatever it was, I wasn't out there, okay? I was not out there. I just, I was out there busy living my own life, creating my own best life. And then, of course, the right man walked into my life. And 30 years later, we're, we've had wonderful, wonderful last 30 years together. And hopefully another 30 more years together. And so what I'm saying is is that when you're hungry for love, when that's your only focus, your focus is not on being your best you. I mean, remember, we're kind of a, re we attract what we're a reflection of. And so if we are out there and we're not our best self, we're not going to attract, you know, probably what we think that we want. You know what I'm saying? Because we attract what we reflect. If we're out there living our best life, we're probably going to attract in someone who is also living their best life, who may have their, the same interests as, as us because we're busy doing the things that we love and enjoy instead of out there searching frantically for someone to love us or for us to love someone. So the key to finding or actually not finding love because I believe that love comes to us when we are truly ready. And, you know, I had other relationships before my husband. Of course, now we've been married a long time. So this is a long time ago. And yet those relationships led up to my husband. They taught me certain things. They were great people. I had great relationships. And yet they were not the right one for the long haul. And so my husband was. And so, but I didn't meet him until the time was right. So I believe that a lot of people are worried, oh, am I ever going to meet the right one? I believe the right one comes into our lives when the time is right. When we're busy living our own best life, being our own best self, then I believe we attract in what it is that we want. From my house to yours, may God bless you. I hope you like, share, subscribe, and I hope to talk to you soon again. Bye-bye. And let me get my sip of water. <laughs> My spring water, which I love. Mm. So good. So good. <laughs> mm -hmm.